Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we got a new update in Battlefield 5 with some bug fixes, changes and new content. The new content is not accessible yet but can be unlocked with the new weekly missions on Thursday. This time it's not a weapon or soldier uniform, it's a tank. The Sturmgeschütz 4 will be added to the access site and is a well equipped low tank with a top gunner position and a remotely controlled machine gun but no turret. I will give you more info about the tank, its specializations and some gameplay on Thursday once I unlocked it. Talking about tanks, there have been a lot of changes made to the Panzersturm map. The area of F is now four times bigger and additional buildings have been added to provide more cover. Along the road between G and D was an oak alley added to give infantry additional cover while moving between these two objectives. To make infantry life more enjoyable, as Dice said, they also added a lot ditches and mounds along the edges of fields, so soldiers can sneak around tanks easier and are not as exposed as they were before. In addition to this, more fortifications have been added to build up more cover if needed. So most of the changes have been made to make life easier for infantry on this map, but of course the added cover also helps tanks to advance and stay undetected for a longer time. Talking about undetected. A change many players were hoping for was made to the footstep sound. They are now at a point between the footstep sound at launch and the really loud and disturbing footsteps we got with the last update. At 25 meters from the player, the footsteps will now be at 28% of the volume compared to someone next to the player. After the previous update, these footsteps had a value of 71% and the original footstep sound at 25 meters was 10%. So it's much more quiet now, but still louder than it was at launch. I would say they are perfect now. Another change I've been missing for a while is to block the player from going prone if there's not enough space to do so. It is standard in other games already, so I have no idea why DICE was waiting for so long. It means that players won't be able to go prone in places where they don't fit in, like behind furniture or inside wooden boxes. Currently this mechanic doesn't have any message displayed, but that will be added with a future update. So if you can't go prone sometimes, no worries, it's not a bug, it's a feature. More new features and improvements have also been added to the practice range. The range has been completely reworked. You now start straight in front of three levers. One for the open range, one for the motor trail and one for the shooting trail. The shooting trail is still in the ruins and you can still practice with the Sten, the STG-44, the FG-42 and the Lee Enfield, but there are only the first waves available. The following three waves have been removed, so the shooting trail is now only a short introduction to the weapons and the shooting range itself. The motor trail is still the same. Pull the lever, get into the Kübelwagen and run over targets. The open range instead has been extended, at least the shooting lanes. Airplane and vehicle practice and shooting exercises are similar to the former build. At the shooting lanes you can now learn how to throw grenades the right way against randomly spawning barrels, see the bullet drop of different weapons on different ranges and practice with the Panzerfaust and other gadgets at stationary and moving targets. There have been gadget racks added alongside the weapon racks to choose the gadgets you like to practice with. There's also a skeet shooting arena available now where you can improve your accuracy with one or two targets on different ranges. Unfortunately, you can't still try weapons with different specializations. That's a feature I would love to see with one of the future updates. However, the extension of the practice range was a nice addition in this update and I hope it will extend even more in the future. Improvements have also been made to a few weapons. The bipods of LMGs, MMGs, the Ribe Roll and the ZK383 will now deploy easier on almost all surfaces. In addition to this, the aim down sight animations have been reworked for all weapons to better reflect the correct point of aim while walking. Before, the sights were moving out of the center of the screen which made it harder to hit a shot. Now, the sights stick to the middle of the screen which makes aiming more precise. To give you more control of your aim, an interesting change was made to the options. Players are now able to fine tune the aim assist instead of just switching it on or off. The higher the value, the stronger the aim assist. Note that the aim assist zoom snap, which is the former aim assist rotation, is only available in the campaign. It is turned off for everyone in multiplayer. I love this idea of giving players much more control of their aim and it's something I haven't seen before. More improvements like this would be highly appreciated. Now let's head over to important bug fixes that have been made with today's update. First of all, the revive icon that didn't show the time left for a revive anymore is fixed. It now shows the state of the downed soldier properly again, so medics can better prioritize who to revive. And there was a fix made to the frontlines mode, which was played with the wrong number of players since the last update. 
It should be 16 players on each team, but after the last update it was down to only 8 players per team. DICE made clear that this wasn't intended and fixed the issue today. Last but not least, there is a change that has only been made for PC players, unfortunately. Players that try to join friends on a full server will now be placed in the queue instead of getting the squad is full error message. I really hope this will come to console as soon as possible, as I would love to be able to join friends even when the squad is full. And that's all for now. In addition to this, we got a few smaller bug fixes and stability improvements with today's update. You will find a link to the full patch notes in the description below if you want to know every little detail and want to read through the full 11 pages. I'll be back with a new video on Thursday to show you the new tank and its specializations. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content. Until then, thanks for watching, I am the Catwoman and I see you on the battlefield.